This is how you can build an ESP32 IoT starter kit on a custom PCB. It has almost every sensor and module you need for prototyping, all on one board, no messy jumper wires. It's one of the most beginner-friendly PCBs you can make, and I'll show you exactly how it works. I got the PCB for this project from PCBWay.com. Big thanks to them for sponsoring this video. They make PCB manufacturing really simple. Just upload your design files, pick your options, and they handle the rest. They also offer 3D printing, CNC machining, and a full range of prototyping services. And if you design your own circuits, you can even enter their global design contest and showcase your projects. Links are down in the description. So let's take a look at the board. It's built around the ESP32, and it includes an OLED screen, a BMP280 sensor for temperature and pressure, a DHT sensor, a PIR motion sensor, a photoresistor, a potentiometer, four LEDs, a relay, a buzzer, buttons, and even a gyroscope module. Basically everything you need to experiment with IoT projects, all connected directly to the ESP32. To build it, you start by soldering the small components first. That means the resistors, the capacitors, and the header pins. Then four LEDs, an RGB LED, and a relay. After that, the gyroscope sensor, the buzzer, a capacitor, and the buttons. Next, you place the BMP280 sensor, the DHT sensor, the PIR sensor, the LDR, the OLED screen, the header pins, and the potentiometer. Then you solder everything on the back of the PCB. You can also design and print a simple 3D printed base so the whole board sits nicely on a desk and is easier to use. Now you only need to plug in the ESP32 DevKit V1 into the header pins and you're good to go. With all the hardware in place, the next step is the code. Since everything is already routed through the PCB headers, all you have to do is connect the sensors with a few jumper cables and define the right pins in Arduino IDE. You install the libraries for the OLED display, the BMP280, and the MPU6050 gyro. Then you can write some simple test programs. Now let's look at three small projects you can run directly on this board. First, a light controlled dimmer. Here you use the photoresistor and the potentiometer to control the brightness of the LEDs, and you show the values on the OLED. For this project, connect the LDR signal pin to GPIO 36, the potentiometer signal to GPIO 34, and the OLED to the I2C bus with SDA on GPIO 4 and SCL on GPIO 15. Second, a sensor logger. You use the BMP280 and the gyroscope together to display temperature, pressure, altitude, and motion data on the OLED in real time. Both of these sensors are I2C devices, so you only need two jumpers, SDA on GPIO4 and SCL on GPIO15. The OLED is also on the same I2C bus, so they all share the same two wires. And third, a motion alarm. For this, you use the PIR sensor, the buzzer, and the relay. The PIR signal pin connects to GPIO 19, the buzzer to GPIO 26, and the relay to GPIO 21. When motion is detected, the buzzer sounds, and the OLED shows a warning message. Those are just three examples, but really, you can build dozens of projects with all the modules already integrated on this single PCB. And that's your ESP32 IoT starter kit on a custom PCB from PCBWay. It's much cleaner than using a breadboard with lots of wires, and it makes experimenting and prototyping so much easier.